Today on the channel, the two-pack the entire world has been waiting for, or, or something like that, but we got Batman, we got Spawn, DC Multiverse. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Back to the channel for another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Spawn unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got Spawn, we got Batman. But for all your Spawn and Batman needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code Kyle, save yourself 10% on all in stock items. Anything over $79 does ship free. Got to get a deal out there, as I always do say. And of course, we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other ones on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging, we're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And man, oh man, I couldn't believe it. So the family and I, we took a day and we went up to the Mall of America. Got That's in Minnesota, the Minneapolis area outside of there. I think Burnsville technically, but who's keeping track? Drove up, got up real early in the morning, took the you know three, four hour drive, whatever it is, up there. Went to the mall all day. Then drove home. Oh, the life of a sailor, something like that. But I had to stop by the GameStop. We're at the food court there. I'm like, ah, there's a GameStop. I'm going to go check it out real quick. It'll take me two seconds. I'll do one of those walk-in, walk-out gimmicks we always do at the toy stores a lot of times when there's nothing ever there. Especially the Mall of America GameStop, where so many people are traveling through that store every single day. It's got to be one of the most visited GameStops in the world, I would have to think. So I had no real expectations of finding anything. Well... I was surprised, and you'll see it in my figure hunting video uh, when that does drop here on this very YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. I was shocked that I saw this just chilling, just one of these. I was like, I am going to pick this up. So then try to get my kids and wife attention. They, of course, didn't want to pay attention to me. They were turned around, but waited in line. Unfortunately, there was a long line. Took me forever. So that walk in, walk out ended up taking like 20 minutes to check out. But at the end of the day, I did get this. And lucky for me, I had my $5 gift card or my $5 monthly coupon from GameStop. And then I had a $5 like reward thing. So I got $10 off this. So it was even better uh, than I anticipated it to be at that GameStop that day. So I was very happy to pick this one up. As I was playing a little long game, wasn't sure where and when I was going to pick this up, but it showed its fate at GameStop at the Mall of America. And every time I look at this, I'll think of that fateful trip to that GameStop. But an interesting time and an interesting two-pack. Of course, Todd McFarlane, uh, he's done more for Batman in the last 20 years than anybody in a lot of ways. I always feel that way, especially with his toy line. Maybe I'm uh, biased to toys. Who knows? But we all know Todd, he loves himself some Batman. Just look at his line. But he also loves himself some Spawn, obviously. So bringing these two worlds together makes a lot of sense. We've seen it before. We'll see it again. But very cool to get a two-pack like this together, really bringing both sides of the fence together. Obviously, the Spawn side and the Batman side. Just a very cool two-pack. And this wouldn't be a bad one to have on box. I'm not a DC Multiverse figure collector in package at all. But this one is a very cool-looking packaging design. I like the kind of color differences, the darker color, the bluer color. Just a very cool packaging design on this one. I really do like this one. And, of course, Spawn, an all-time favorite. I was with Spawn when he came out with Spawn number one. Really enjoyed Spawn for many years and enjoyed the toys even longer than the comic book. So I really like that. And of course, Batman. Everybody knows Batman, myself included. So there you go. But very cool packaging, like I did say there. Looking really, really cool. Batman and Spawn on the side. What's that say? Based on comics by Todd McFarlane. Shout out to old Todd, the hardest working toy man in the game, no doubt about it. DC Multiverse. Got Batman and Spawn right there. And then on the back, we got cool artwork there of the two guys ready to hunt, ready to do whatever they need to do. Very, very cool there. Now, let me see if I can get him out of the package. You know, actually, I'm going to take this one offline. That's what I'm going to do. There's a lot of twist ties in here, a lot of stuff. I'm going to get both these guys out. And we'll be back talking Spawn and Batman. All right, it's good I took this offline as there was a lot to this. A lot of twist ties, a lot of things packing these guys in, and then a lot of extra accessories I wasn't even aware of or didn't notice or forgot about, in all honesty. But let's dive in here. Let's dive in. We do get two stands. We always get these with McFarlane, but very cool to get the DC stand. Of course, we've seen it a million times. But how about the Spawn stand? That's something a little bit different, so I'm here for that. like what I'm seeing right there. 
We, of course, get two cards. We get a Batman card and a Spawn card. Let's read these. Let's see what's going on with Batman. Are we going to hear the same Batman thing all over again? As a child, Bruce Wayne watches his parents were brutally killed in Gotham City's Crime Alley. Traumatized by their deaths, he devoted his life to becoming the world's greatest weapon against crime, the Batman! He's a master detective and an expert martial artist, but his greatest weapon is his mind. Batman has a plan for every occasion, as well as high-tech weapons, gadgets, no gizmos, though, but vehicles to assist him in his relentless pursuit of justice. By the numbers. Paint by the numbers, Batman, right there. But Spawn, we get a little Spawn card here. I'm here for this, and oh my gosh, we got a, quite the story here. Spawn was once a man named Al Simmons, a highly trained assassin who realized that the government wasn't always right and started questioning their actions, which caught the attention of people in higher power. In a blazing inferno, Al was murdered and his soul was sent to hell because he had knowingly killed innocents in his CIA days. Al, Al made a deal to sell his soul to the demonic being known as Malabolgia. Now that is a figure we need an update of. I hope that is to come. Give me a Kickstarter on that, uh, McFarlane. To get to see his wife, Wanda, once again after returning as some kind of a strange hell spawn. Al found out that she had moved on and married his best friend, even had a child named Cyan. Man, is the ladies, what are you doing? Moving on that quick? Come on. Uh, I'm sure if I if I'm sure if I die in a car accident tomorrow, my wife shall just be moving on just real quick. Just real quick. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. She'd be done. She'd be done. I'm sure she would. <laughs> his demonic guide, the violator, realized revealed to spawn the purpose of his life now realizing his purpose he must fight to survive against the both the forces of heaven and hell like a young black sabbath ronnie james dio years no doubt about it right there at the end of the day so very cool backstory on spawn there batman man we've seen it a thousand times very cool background sheet in here was not realizing this was here but you got spawn and batman some cool artwork from the back or Skulls of their fallen enemies. Whatever you want to do, choose your own adventure. Choose your own artwork adventure. I like that. And then these do slide in. Got this very cheap plastic piece here, but does look very, very nice. Looks like a skull, kind of rocky terrain. You got a bunch of skulls in there. Very, very evil looking. So I'm definitely here for this. And you slide this right in there. And bam, you got a little action figure background diorama. That's a nice little kind of throw-in freebie here. And for me, I paid like $37 for this set. I feel like I got a lot out of this set with all these accessories and things like that. So very, very cool. I like that background. I like that idea. Zero issues with that. Now let's dive in here. And should we start Batman first? I guess he's the closest to me, so we will. Now, Batman does come with a big Batarang. This is much bigger than the Nightfall ones and some of the other ones we've seen. This is very big as far as Batman goes. So, like that, all in black, looking pretty good. Then we get extra hands. So, he's got two kind of mangled hands out of the package. But, thankfully, we get at least one fist and one gripping hand. I'm here for that. So, you got really all the hands you could really need with a Batman for the most part. But, we got a fisted hand, which is always a good day there. Now we dive into Batman here. This Batman is an interesting one. There's stuff I like, but there's stuff I don't like with this. Now, first off, what I don't like is the head sculpt on this. He's got a very angry face instead of the stoic Batman. Maybe he's a little bit too pale, not exactly sure, but it looks just very unfinished. It looks like it just needs a little bit more bell and whistles around the face there. He's got the long bat uh, ears up there at the top, very, very long, nice and sharp too. We can stab somebody with it if you need to. If you're if you're in reach of a weapon, you don't have one, you can use this. You can just give him one of those. A uh, great rep weapon in prison, probably. It's a shiv. Uh, shank, there you go. But definitely interesting in that head department. I, I just don't know. This is one of those ones where an upgrade kit with a different Batman head could really make this one really, really pop, probably. But he does kind of have that Michael Keaton Batman look to him a little bit. He's got the dark black colors, got the yellow belt going on, the yellow black and a yellow logo of Batman on the chest there that looks really good. Got the big long forearm wings there as well for Batman looking nice. Definitely an interesting look to Batman. And no doubt about it, anybody sees this, they know it's Batman. It's just a hair different, a hair different at the end of the day. Very cool cape on this one, big black pliable cape. I think this is the first time, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, that we've seen this plastic cape from McFarlane. Even got two little like kind of uh, horns up here on each side, which look really, really nice. I like the looks of that. Our articulation looks very familiar. Arms do go around, but you are really limited by the cape in this instance here. Uh, you do get a little bit of butterfly action, bicep cut, double jointed elbows, hands back forth, side to side, hands removable. Uh, you got a little of that ball in there, not a big fan of that in between. Hula hoop at the top, traditional waist as well. Big old Batman splits if you need them. 
You do got the double jointed knees as well there. No boot cut, but you do get the ankles back forward, side to side. And then, of course, the patented McFarland toe articulation. You do get that big ball in the ankle as well, which I'm not a huge fan of, as I always do say. But it's interesting. It's definitely Batman. But I didn't think Batman would be the star of this two-pack for me. Obviously, there's more Batman fans in the world than Spawn, but I've always preferred Spawn. Outside of a few instances in Batman, I've always been a more of a Spawn guy, but definitely an interesting Batman. Is it perfect? By no means, but it is what it is. But I'm here for this Spawn, and early just looking at this out of the package, this could finally be my McFarlane Spawn. I have been using the Mortal Kombat Spawn, and I have that actually right here. This has kind of been my spawn in my collection, like my everyday go-to-market spawn. And it's weird that a Mortal Kombat figure is my spawn. However, things might be changing here today with this one, as I really do like what I see right here with this brand new spawn uh, from this GameStop 2-pack, or at least I bought it at GameStop 2-pack. Now, the only accessory spawn comes with is this ridiculous sword. Look at this thing. It's like a big old rectangle there. It's got a little bit of a C cut out, a big old angle iron there, all kinds of divots and dings throughout it. You got the nice wrapping on the handle. It looks really good. Got the skull there with the green eyes. Man, this is just a bad day out of the office if you get hit with this. And I would hate to carry this around because it's got to be heavy. It's one of those ones, oh my gosh, I can't even lift it. It's like when you're a little kid in T-ball and somebody's got the, you know, big baseball bat that, you know, 18-year-olds are using. You're just like, oh my gosh, this is the heaviest bat I've ever felt in my life. But definitely like this. Definitely a different weapon for spawn as well. Now we get this down to spawn, and this is a heck of a lot more classic spawn at the end of the day. Now, I didn't buy that Kickstarter spawn. Uh, I never picked that one up, but this one, really looking good. It's bringing a little bit of that Mortal Kombat flair, a little bit of the traditional spawn, and then even a little bit of that throne spawn. Remember that spawn that came with the throne? That was a really good spawn, but it was missing some details, like in the cape. It didn't have one. Uh, this one has everything. So it's got the crazy kind of wings on the cape at the top here flying around. You get the big, big plastic cape with all the different angles and ends on it. Just a very nice look here. You got all the spikes. Of course, the big boot on um, spawn here that we know all about with all the spikes on it. You got the forearm guards with all the spikes. You got the chains down there on the waist that we're accustomed to. The chains that connect the cape together. Like a young Lando Calrissian. You got the pockets on the leg as well really is the spawn when I close my eyes and I think of spawn. This is basically what I think of here. Maybe this weapon isn't exactly what I think of, but this figure is exactly what I think of when I think of spawn. Really do like the looks of this one. The black and white and red go re really well together as usual. No pain imperfections, no issues with that. Articulation, arms do go around, but you are really limited by this cape. It really does hug around the shoulders and arms. So you do have that. You do get a bicep side to side. Double jointed elbows, of course, hands back forth, side to side, hula hoop, traditional waist, a little bit of that diaper going on, big old spawn splits if you need them. He does got the double jointed knees, very, very tight, but they are double jointed. And then you get the ankles back forth, side to side, a little bit limited there with the big boot. And then, of course, you get the McFarlane toe articulation. And does he fit on the McFarlane stand? I would hope he does. Oh my gosh, a very tight fit, but we got him on there. Looking nice, looking good, looking pretty cool, and definitely similar but different, just feeling a little bit more Spawn-like to me. And I love this Mortal Kombat one, but I think this one might have replaced it as my everyday working man Spawn in my collection. A very cool one in this McFarlane 2-pack. Very crazy that the DC Multiverse line and the Mortal Kombat line are giving us the best Spawn figures outside of the Kickstarter, giving us the best Spawn figures when there is a McFarlane Spawn line. Just kind of hard to wrap your head around it, but it all feels like it's in the same universe, same toy maker, same scaling, same kind of use. So that doesn't make sense for me there. But definitely interesting. You got the Batman, you got the background. A very, very cool pack. I would hate to say it's a sleeper pack because a lot of people are excited about this one, but this is a set that really blew away my expectations for it. I really like what I see here. Got some issues with the Batman, but Batman wasn't the star of the stage and screen for me. It's going to be Spawn in this uh, two-pack here. This background, forgot all about it. It feels like a nice throw-in. I like the exclusive stand there for Spawn. Weapons are good. The Batarang's good. The extra hands for Batman. Packaging, absolutely phenomenal. Just a lot to like about this pack. A very, very good pack here for McFarlane. McFarlane has been on fire in 2023. Uh, if you had to rank the top five toy companies of the year, 
McFarlane has really stepped his game up, at least from where I sit. Of course, this table right here in 2023, I like a lot of stuff. And I don't buy everything McFarlane like I do. Maybe the D WWE Mattel Elites, the Hasbro's, He-Man stuff. I pick and choose. But what I pick and choose, man, this year, I've really liked a lot of the stuff. Really have liked it. And uh, they're fairly easy to get as well. Most of McFarlane stuff you can find. And that's always a good day, too. So... Very, very fun two-pack here. I strongly recommend it. But what say you guys and gals out there in YouTube land? You picking this set up? Playing the long game? Passing? Not sure what you're going to do? Let me know in the comments down below. And, of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And then some. We've got even more content, including early access to videos like this, over on the old Patreon channel. Patreon is going to be your best way to support this very YouTube channel and all the content it does bring. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Spawn and Batman 2... I am Kyle, and I'll see you all real soon.